Hi friends, I hope you all are doing well for your exams. You all are preparing well for your exams. So just for your revision, I am here with one another video which is very much helpful for your board exams. I think you all know I am discussing this video series for basically class 10 to students. So today I have Topic of discussion is photosynthesis, which is an overview only. So, in this video, I am going to tell you about all the basic concepts of photosynthesis. What is the process of photosynthesis? Why this process is occurring in plants? We are going to discuss here. Actually, photo this word refers to light. Okay, and this word refers to light, and synthesis means putting together or to form or you can say to synthesize something or putting together you can write. Okay. So this is a process by which green plants use sunlight. This process is basically occur in green plants and the plants they use sunlight to make their food from simple molecules like CO2, water and sunlight. I will clear this again. It is a very simple photosynthesis. It is a very basic process of plants. I think you all know. All the green plants are autotrophs. Why they are called autotrophs? Because they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. And here I am going to discuss what is the process of photosynthesis. First point I told you. Okay, this process occurs in green plants as they contain chlorophyll as one of the photosynthetic pigments. And these raw materials are also required just to perform the process of photosynthesis. And these are the simple molecules through which plants make their own food in the form of glucose. Food will be prepared by plants in the form of glucose. I think you all know C6H12O6. So one thing I want to tell you here that photosynthesis it is an anabolic process and anabolic means to synthesize something or to prepare something. Anabolic means building. You can say this is the building of process. As you all know we, here we are going to build something building. That is why it will come under anabolic process. And photosynthesis is, can be described as the process by green plants. And the uh, single most important natural process which is occurs in plant and 90% it is produced and green plants are only responsible for the release of oxygen in the atmosphere. Release of oxygen in the atmosphere. So I think you all know this oxygen is very much essential for the life survival, release of oxygen in the atmosphere. And here I am going to write equation for the photosynthesis friends. So I think this equation will be very much helpful for you. That is 6 CO2. This equation is well balanced. Plus 12 H2O. It will form C6 H12O6 plus 6 O2 and plus 6 H2O. This oxygen is a gas. You can write in this way. And here I am writing some uh, basic requirements also. You can write here light and chlorophyll is essential for the process of photosynthesis. So this equation is well balanced friends. And the above equation you can summarize from here that raw materials for the photosynthesis are CO2 and water, light and chlorophyll also. And CO2 is absorbed from the air and water from the soil. CO2 is absorbed from the water content from the soil. And energy is needed for the chemical reactions. I think you all know here light energy is getting converted to chemical energy. Which is absorbed by the chlorophyll molecules which is present in leaves. And these are the green pigments which are found in the plants. Green plants especially. And some simple sugar like glucose is formed as you can see here. This is glucose. This is the food which is formed by the green plants. So this is the uh, sugar which is formed in plants only. Glucose. 
and uh, this glucose is stored in the plant in the form of a starch jab kabhi bhi extra glucose ban jayega to plants isko starch ke form mein store kar lenge aur starch ek polysaccharide hai and here glucose is a monosaccharide and oxygen is released as a by product here main product will be glucose and all the by products you can write oxygen water as a by product which is formed by photosynthesis and the chlorophyll pigment it is a pigment which is found in chloroplast i told you earlier chloroplast these are the structures or cell organelles which are found in plant cells they have a green pigment which is called chlorophyll and this pigment can able to trap light energy and photosynthesis requires co2 water and light in chlorophyll pigments and i think you all know this chloroplast is the site of photosynthesis where this process of photosynthesis will takes place so any question will come in your exam may name the site of photosynthesis you have to write chloroplast as your answer and this photosynthesis go on into the plant and the leaves keep going producing glucose and this glucose molecules here the glucose which is formed are converted into starch as fast as they are produced so there are so many tests for the starch which is very simple and which can be done in laboratory just for the confirmation test so this is all about today's lecture so in my next lecture you will be able to see the various photosynthetic processes like light reaction and dark reaction this is all about an overview of photosynthesis only friends i hope this video will be very useful for your studies so if you like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends i hope friends we will meet soon thank you once again for your continuous support thank you friends bye bye take care